Hi, this is Terry of TDK Talks. To PowerPoint or not? That's the question. If you are a Toastmaster, you know that speech contest season comes around twice a year. In the fall, between September and November, and then again in the spring from March till about May. Contestants are vying for the best five to seven minute speech. They start at the club, go to the area, compete at the division, the district, and then in the spring, they even make it onto the international stage. Often, I'm asked, is it okay to use PowerPoint for a competition speech? Well, there is no rule that says you shouldn't, but let me tell you in a few minutes why you should not. A competition speech is between five and seven minutes. Any speech less than 4 minutes and 30 seconds or longer than 7 minutes and 30 seconds will be disqualified. Timing is crucial. You've put everything into this speech. You have written and rewritten for the last several months. You've practiced it at many clubs. You've worked in all the evaluations that you've heard. You've gotten your stage acting down pat. You've gotten your choreography just right. You've got your pausing, your phrasing, your tonal variety, even your facial expressions. Everything of that speech is in your total control. Enter PowerPoint. When you bring PowerPoint into your speech, you've brought in no less than five serial elements. These are active components. You have your laptop or desktop, you have your projector, you have your screen, you have your slide advancer, and uh, oh yes, of course, sorry Microsoft, the PowerPoint software itself. You brought in five elements that all depend on each other, and they're active. Now, a prop like a chair, a cane, a hat, a mustache are very simple, but they're passive. You have full control over them. But if you bring in PowerPoint with those five minimum elements, these are all active working elements, things could go wrong. For example, your uh, projector bulb might go. Your uh, screen might not come down or jam halfway down. Your clicker, well, the battery might go dead. And uh, the PC and the PowerPoint software, oh yeah, it might decide to start doing a software update at the wrong time. Why would you bring in all those five elements into your speech that you don't have 100% control over 110% of the time? that you can't guarantee that they'll work 100% of the time. Not a good idea. Whether you're using your PowerPoint for one slide or more, when that slide does not come on, you've automatically lost your tempo. Not only have you lost some content of your speech, but it may frazzle you to the point where you're, uh, you're scrambling to backfill. It might throw your whole pacing off, and that's not what you want. You do get points in a speech for delivering it smoothly with perfect timing. And what you don't need is a last minute hiccup like that. Now PowerPoints are okay for uh, things like educationals, club presentations, keynotes, because if something like a hiccup like that happens at one of those events, uh, that little bit of humor may actually be uh, fun for the audience because let's face it, we have all been there. So it's warmly appreciated. But in a contest, it's a little more serious than that. And if something like that goes wrong, it could throw your speech off something fierce. How do I know this? Well, I was actually at a contest most recently, and that's exactly what happened. The contestant had a PowerPoint set up. Everything was set up. That person did everything the right way. But when the person started talking, no more than one minute into their speech, where they tried to get their PowerPoint to come up, it did not. And there was at least five seconds of an expression on the contestant's face showing the frustrated look. That instantly told the judges that something's not right here. That content is not working. Now, what would the judges think? Because uh, like many of you, I've judged a few contests myself. The judges instantly see that there's content missing. What am I missing? Stuff that I could judge them on. Obviously, the judges are going to be forced to judge low, and that's not what you want. So my recommendation, don't use PowerPoint for a contest speech. Use only facets you have total control over, 100% repeatable.
Things like your uh, choreography, your stage movement, your eye contact, your tonal, your vocal variety, your pacing, all that is in your control. Keep it in your control. Small props like a hat, a chair, a cane, those are okay because they're passive. You have total control of them too. If you want a good speech, make sure you don't use PowerPoint. Keep it for the educationals and the keynotes. They're okay there. Until next time, this is Terry of TDK Talks.